Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's Brian and Jim here with Drink a Beer and Play a Game. And you're watching Sin Spaces. Cheers. Cheers. Since Spaces. G'day invaders, welcome to Since Spaces, and as you can see, I'm not in the mothership. Today I am at the house of Lucas, Aussie Gamers Experience. How you doing, mate? I'm very good, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, just a, what, yesterday or day before, I brought this to your attention, so this is all yep. relatively new to him. Um, so to give you an idea of what this is about, you, for people who follow my channel, you probably already know, but... I found the Sonic statues out in the junkyard and that's where they shall forever lay and rest, I think, the way that guy's going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure with following the rules and not going all yeah. illegal, I don't think yeah. we're going to get our hands on those statues. Yeah. yeah, so I don't have a Robotnik helicopter handy to just pop in and grab no. them. But, so I thought that was done and dusted. I, I didn't think that that was going to continue on in any way, shape or form. Uh, but on my Facebook page, I'm not really overly active on Facebook, but it is there, the page is there, and I got a, a, a random uh, send me a message, and a big shout out to Mr. Random, um, tipping me off about, um, he said that, do you, he asked, do you like Sega World merchandise, or are you interested in um, Sega World statues? Just a little bit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe, you know, given the fact that I used to work for Sega and yeah, I was actually, just a side note, I was actually in walking past the boardroom when they were considering option A to form a TV show on video games or B, form a fun park or a theme park. That was that was legitimately on the table, and they opted to not worry about the TV show, and they went all in on Sega World. Yeah, right. and we all know how that worked out. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately. Yeah, but we've got all the memorabilia, or do we? It's scattered all over the countryside. So I got a tip off that there is a Sonic and Knuckles statue. He knew about um, the Sonic statue, and he had seen previously the Knuckles statue, but it. He wasn't sure if he still had it. So I, I wasn't sure if this was legit. I had no idea if this was if someone just trying to stir me up, you know, get my hopes up. So I said, look, you send me a photo of this statue that you're talking about, and then we'll, we'll work it out from there. So the next day, he sends me this. Um, yeah, so he, he sent me the photo, and I thought, oh my God, this guy's for real. So. I did a bit of Googling and I found that that statue was out in the, what used to be called the Darling Walk. And um, at one point in time, his eyes were still there. But during its time at Siegelwald, someone had obviously got to it and rubbed yeah, it off. Yeah, because his pupils are missing. Like, he's got the big white eye section, but yeah. there's no black pupils or anything. Well, at one point in time, uh, when the statue was first just created, those eyes were there. And there's a photo which I'll show now, and you can see the eyes are there. But then, as years gone on, something happened. Someone got on a liquid paper or something. <laughs> <laughs> liquid paper. <laughs> that's to, your, to all you millennials. That's what we had as instead of backspace. Oh, what? They don't sell liquid paper anymore. Oh no, they probably, they probably do. <laughs> no one uses pen and paper anymore, anyway. Um, so we decided, well, I decided to invite. Um, Lucas here, and because I can't do this all on my own, um, as much as I'd love to, I, I, I figured I'd need some help with trying to just think things out and work out where to go with this. So we held hands and walked down the road together. You were holding my hand, I was Skipping, trying to push away. <laughs> singing lullabies. So we decided to go down and check it out, and well, this, this is what we found. Right, so yeah, that was. All, um, did you note the guy when we we're going from the car to the property? Yes, I did he, see the local. Yeah, and um, <laughs> has anyone seen this cover? I'm going to put that up. 
The only thing missing from this dude in that cover was the banjo. Like, <laughs> oh, I'd, I would not doubt for a second that he has one. He just didn't have it on him at the time. So we're not going to tell you where it is. Um, the last thing we want to do is give this guy trouble. That That's not our intention at all. Um, we, in fact, never spoke to the guy um, or the owners. So we still, to this day, don't know um, what their intentions are with this statue. However, a couple of good things was that uh, it looked like they were, you know, treating it with some sort of respect. They, they were some still sort. still <laughs> outside in yeah. the elements and did show some weathering and fading, but they are in much better condition than the other ones that we've seen previously in the junkyard. Mm. So that that's a plus, I guess. Yeah, so I couldn't get to the front door to even knock on the door because of some um, very, very well-equipped, dogs <laughs> yeah look those two guard dogs there was a, a couple of signs on the gate that said beware of dog and uh, those signs do not necessarily uh, seem false the, no. the dogs were quite intimidating they look convincing anyway that so yeah. I, I wasn't gonna try to see if i could outrun them um so we haven't had a chance to even speak to the owner there was no real activity or movement at the house when we were there um, it was pretty isolated actually, there was no one around except Banjo. Yeah, or well, Banjo, uh, Banjo over there, what was the game? Uh, Phalanx, 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 and the Super Nintendo. Right, that kind yeah. of sounds uh, suggestive, that name. <laughs> uh, yeah, well except for that bloke who was sitting on his front porch just staring at us the whole time. He was pretty, yeah, observant. They look like Sydney folk. <laughs> we were in Sydney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the boring part. But yeah, we're not going to tell you where it is, but um, we do have, yeah, we do need to have a word with the owners. Uh, we're trying to work out how to go about that. We, we don't have a phone number, email it. We, we've just got to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to yeah. send them a letter. I you remember that, kids? The, the, <laughs> <laughs> I was the one that came up with the idea. I said, why don't we just post them a letter? <laughs> oh, yeah, letters. I remember that. Yeah. Dear Mr. Sonic Statue Owner. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> not just for uh, packages that rock up from stuff you bought on eBay at 2 a.m. You can actually post letters still. I wonder how they get the parcels to that dude's front yard. <laughs> just, I would reckon they just chuck them. <laughs> just throw them over the fence. <laughs> so we will keep you posted. There will be follow-up videos, but I just wanted to get this video out to show you guys that there are more Sonic statues or Sega World statues out there. Um, and a Ronald McDonald one. That, there is Ronald McDonald too. <laughs> I don't understand what that was about. Maybe that's from Global Gladiators. Oh yeah, of course. Are you ready? <laughs> are, 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 are you ready? We both have that game. <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. You bought it because I did. <coughs> I made it cool again. So yeah, we'll give you uh, updates as we've got them. Uh, for now, it's we don't have any up anything else to tell on this um, unless you. What would you do with the with the statues? What would you like to see done with them? Uh, I'd like to see them get a nice, fresh coat of paint. Mm -hmm. and Is Sonic's eyes back? And yeah, some eyes would be great for Sonic, and a <laughs> nice big, thick, clear coat to keep it protected for many, many years. Uh, and then in my backyard, where nobody can see them, and I'm keeping them forever. I'll take Knuckles. You can have Sonic. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we, we don't have a game plan beyond that. We nah. just know that this statue is, exists. Um, yeah, and we just got to take it from there. All right. Um, by the way, you might want to check out Lucas's page. Um, I'll give you this, give you the opportunity to. Well, check it. out. Uh, I do a weekly podcast, which is available on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, YouTube, and everywhere that you can think of you can get a podcast from just search up the Aussie Gamers Experience we also have a YouTube channel you can follow me on Twitter at Aussie Gamers 12 and there's a website as well Aussie Gamers no cut that out it's not Aussie Gamers <laughs> <laughs> there's a website as well www.theagexp.com and uh, yeah that's uh, you search up that stuff and you'll find it thanks all right and uh, yeah you've got my channel uh and links to uh, SidSpaces.com, which is a new thing that I've started up. And for those of you who are probably wondering what the hell this thing here on my face, I'm doing Movember. There's a link down below. Um, what do you think? Rate it out of 10. Uh, it's probably the low resolution, but it's, <laughs> it's not a moustache. He's actually just been uh, sucking on a tailpipe of his car. <laughs> he does weird things like that. I don't understand it. He's like, look, look at this. And he turned the car on and... 
I just walked away. You're weird, Brian. Respect your elder. <laughs> He doesn't. <laughs> I don't have enough ex- respect in me to respect your age. <laughs> Game, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. My name has been Brian, and I've been gaming since Spaces. Thanks, guys. See ya. Since Spaces. <laughs>